Did you know where your videos show up on YouTube really has a big effect on how many views your video is going to get, especially within the first 30 days? In fact, if you currently have no idea what traffic sources are or what traffic sources your videos are being found in, you're most likely not getting views. And this is partly because the way the algorithm works for each one of these traffic sources is completely different because each traffic source actually has a different algorithm. So today we're gonna to be diving into what you need to do as a content creator to trigger search, browse, and suggested, which is going to help you get more views. I'm gonna be talking about what you need to do for the algorithm as well as what you need to do for your audience. Because at the end of the day, it's your audience who's going to click and watch your videos, not the algorithm. So first, a traffic source is just a really fancy phrase to basically explain where your video was located when a viewer clicked on your video to watch it. And this can be on or off YouTube. So if you go into your YouTube channel analytics, you click on the reach tab and you scroll down, the first box is going to show you traffic that came inside the platform. And so this is where the top three should always be searched, browsed, and suggested as that's really the trifecta of getting more views on YouTube. If you currently see those as your top three traffic sources, don't worry. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly what you need to do to trigger these three algorithms. So this way you can increase your traffic from those three and you'll see a lot more views, I promise. Now, if you scroll down just a little bit further, you're going to see external traffic. So this is where your videos were found off platform. So maybe you shared it in a Facebook group or on your Instagram account, or maybe it's just naturally being found on Google, which I really like to trigger for external because Google owns YouTube and their search traffic source. So if you can rank on Google and YouTube, you're definitely going to get more views. All right, so going right through, knowing that Google and YouTube are both search engines, talking about the search traffic source first. So before I can tell you how to trigger it, you need to know what it takes to have this traffic source show up. So search traffic appears when a video of yours ranked in search after a person came to the platform and typed in something very specific known as a keyword or keyword phrase into the search bar. This means as a content creator, you need to predict what your audience is going to type into search results. And I know you may not have a crystal ball in front of you to tell you what you have, but we do have TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy allows you to see what people are typing into search results and how often. So you'll see the number of search results per month. You'll also see the number of videos already created on that topic. And then you'll also see a trend report, which is what I really like to use. Because if I post a video that maybe gets a lot of searches at the wrong time, it also means my videos won't get any views. And then you wanna optimize your video for search traffic. So this means putting in that keyword and specific data that's relevant to that keyword and your title, your tags, your description box, and even what you say in your videos. Also, you want to kind of see what other people are already doing in search results. So I like to look at the top three videos and kind of see in their thumbnails, what are they doing similar and what can I do different? And then their titles, the exact same thing. Now, as a smaller creator, I always like to teach about search traffic because I feel it's easier for you to manipulate the search traffic algorithm because you can predict what your viewers are searching for and then you can package that video to get clicks. And you'll start to notice that the more clicks you get and the higher your impressions and CTR is, the more browse traffic you're gonna start to notice in your traffic sources. So browse traffic is triggered when your video appears on a person's homepage, subscription feed, watch later page, or even the trending page. So for me personally, if I'm really trying to trigger browse and I specifically want to land on people's homepages, I may use a title that is heightened in the emotional trigger. And again, emotions do not have to be a bad thing. I use curiosity a lot of the time because when people are curious, they're most likely going to click on your video to kind of curb that curiosity. So for me, on this video, instead of just saying traffic sources explained like everyone else was doing in search results, I said trigger this algorithm to get more views. So doing this increases the CTR, which means I'm more likely to get pushed into people's home pages because YouTube really likes to push videos to the home page that they know is going to get a person to click and watch their video. Something else you can do to utilize your community tab if you have over 500 subscribers. I like to use the poll tab and I typically do it 24 hours before one of my videos is gonna get pushed out. Because when you use a poll, it's easy for somebody to scroll and quickly vote on something and keep scrolling. But that vote that they just did increased my channel's engagement with that person. And YouTube likes to push out videos to the homepage that people recently interacted with. 
Now, on the other hand, you have to remember that browse traffic also includes your subscription feed. So when people are subscribed to your channel, trying to get traffic there, you need a post right before they're gonna be online. So if you go into your YouTube analytics under the audience tab, you can look at the purple heat map and see exactly when your audience is online watching your videos. So a big mistake is people will post at the highest traffic time. So if it says 8 a.m. is your highest traffic time, people will post then. But I've noticed if you just post an hour before the highest traffic time, you're more likely to get more views because YouTube then has time to push your video out to everybody's subscription feed. And then when they log again in just a couple of minutes or hours, right? They're going to see your video at the top of their subscription feed, which means they're more likely going to watch your video before they watch someone else's. So suggested traffic occurs when your video appears on the up next section, which is at the very end of the video or on the side of the video when you are watching on desktop or underneath the video when you're watching on mobile. Also too, suggested traffic comes from your end screen. So if you suggest a video at the end of your video and somebody clicks on that, that's the suggested traffic. So while most YouTubers are really trying to focus on how do I get suggested on other people's videos, I've actually noticed it's a lot easier to get suggested on your own videos. And then over time, as more people start to click and watch your videos, you'll naturally start to appear in other people's videos as well. So the suggested traffic source really depends on a person's watch history. So they want to know what videos they're watching right now, what videos they watched right before, and it'll even look at the cookies on their overall computer or device they're watching on to see what websites they visited before coming to YouTube. This is because YouTube really needs to make sure that what they're suggesting makes sense to the current video that they're watching. So it's going to be a related topic, or it's gonna be a topic that the person just watched not too long ago because they want people to stay on the platform. It's almost like when you go shop online and you add something to your cart and then the website says, hey, people who purchase this also purchase this. They do that because they want to increase their earnings, right? They want you to spend more money. And psychologically, when you see that people who purchased this bought this, your brain now says these two things go together, so you need to buy them together. So on suggested, it's the exact same thing. When you watch a video and YouTube's saying, hey, you need to watch this video next, your brain now says these two videos go together, so you need to watch this video next. So knowing it's psychological, something you need to do is when you're making your videos, already look in your library of videos you've made in the past and think to yourself, what video goes hand in hand with the video I'm about to make. And keep that in your notes because you're gonna to wanna to link that video at the end of your video they're currently watching and the description box and in the pinned comments. Because the more you can do this and people click, you're basically training the algorithm to say, hey, these two videos go together. So when somebody naturally comes who maybe isn't subscribed to your channel and watches your video, the algorithm's gonna say, oh, I know what video to suggest because everyone did the same exact thing. And I know that's probably a lot of information, so let's go ahead and recap. Even though these are separate algorithms that trigger each of these traffic sources, I don't want you to think of them as separate things that you need to focus on one at a time. If you can all three of these together on one video, you're gonna notice a lot more views over the next 30 days. So something I also do is I start with search in mind. So that's the number one thing. So this means I am planning my videos around topics that I know my audience is interested in right now. And I'm optimizing that video. So I'm putting in specific information into the video's title, tags, thumbnail, and description box. So this way the YouTube algorithm say, okay, that's what this video is about. I know how to store it and pull it when somebody searches for this topic. But I also really like to land and browse because I've noticed that you get a lot more views in the first 30 days faster if you land on people's home pages. So instead of just putting a generic search title, I like to switch it up and really put a clickbait title. Again, traffic sources explained versus trigger this algorithm to get more views on your video. Also making sure suggest my own videos that go hand in hand. So I'll put one video in the description box and the uh, pinned comment and on the end screen because I know that I'm likely trying to figure out now how to rank higher in search results. So I'm gonna serve this video that's gonna show you exactly how to do that. So make sure to click on that video and I'll see you over there.